In this problem, we are being asked to graph a linear inequality. And uh, lucky for us, it's already in slope intercept form. Uh, and remember, that's the y equals, or in this case, y is greater than mx plus b. So the plus b, the b is your y intercept. In this case, that's a negative 1. And the slope is this number that's multiplied by x. In this case, that's a negative 2 thirds. So how do we go about graphing an inequality in the plane? Um, well, first of all, you want to graph this uh, like it's a line. So think of this as y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 1. And, and we'll graph that. So I've got the uh, y-intercept is negative 1. I can put that down as a point. So that's y-intercept. And then we've got a slope of negative 2 thirds. Remember, slope is rise over run. Since this is negative, it's going to go down 2 and over 3. So I'll just do that. I'll go down 2, 1, 2, and over 3. That would give me a point right there. Now, I've got two points, so I can sketch in a line here. With these inequalities, however, the line is either going to be dashed or solid, uh, depending on the sign. And I've got some handy rules down here to help you out with that. If it's just less than or greater than, it's going to be a dashed line, because that value that's right on the line is not included in the inequality. If it was a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to, then it would be a solid line because that value would be included. All right, I'm just going to freehand in this dashed line because we've got a, a greater than here. Um, it'd probably be a little messy, but you get the idea. So <laughs> there's our line. Now, because of the inequality, um, we have to shade one half of this graph, either above or below the line. And that's determined by the inequality. If it's greater than or greater than or equal to, you shade above. That's the case for us. We've got a greater than, so we're going to shade above. Um, if it was less than or less than or equal to, you'd shade below. Shading above means you take start at any point on the line and just go up. That's the direction you're going to be shading in. So all of this area in here, that would be the shaded region of the graph. So that's a little bit about how to graph a linear inequality in the plane.